Um, yeah. Hold on. Let's see. Are we live on Facebook? <laughs> I need to make a, somebody a co-host to help me out with hey, admitting people. Jason, do you want to do that for me? Do you, you want to be our co-host? You can pay attention to admitting people. And um, if you could share in the ER Shred group from Sean's wall, I'm going live on Sean's wall then that would be helpful. Um, okay, I feel, I, I don't see that I'm live on Facebook. Does anybody, can anyone confirm that we're live? Okay, I see that. I see we're live, okay. We are officially live. Now let me just make Jason a co-host really quick. Thanks you guys for your patience. Okay, Jason, thank you for, um, for doing that for us. And if anyone else wants to take this moment to share on Facebook as well, if this is something that you feel um, any of your friends or family on Facebook might be interested in, then you can go to Sean's wall and share, share the video live at this time. And then I'm gonna make sure I record. Okay, I posted the disclaimers on, on Facebook and in the chat. So I wanna make sure everybody is aware of that. I wanna make sure we stay compliant and don't make any claims. Okay, we are recording. I'm gonna to go to, that way we can, and if, um, Everyone can mute yourself right now until it's your turn to talk. Then that way we won't get any background noise. And, um, and also whoever is the speaker will be show whoever speaking will be showing up like on the first screen. Okay. I don't know why I'm not showing up. Do you guys see me as the main person? Okay. All right. I don't know why I'm not showing up. Do you guys see me as like the main screen? Yeah? Okay, okay. Cause it's not showing that for me. So my view is different. Okay. Uh, in progress. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. Okay. Um, how do I, okay. Mute all. That's what I do. Okay. I think we got everything covered. Oh, Sean says I'm not showing up. Oh, I muted everybody. Hmm. Okay, Sean, am I showing up now? I don't know why it's not working. I muted everybody. You're showing up in all your beauty. Oh, thank you. <laughs> it's like, I can't see myself as the main one. I just wanna make sure the, that the feature is working. Okay. All right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and get started. I think you guys confirmed that it is working, but I don't know why it's not working for me. Okay. All right, you guys. So excited to have you guys here tonight. This is going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be, um, we're going to call it our Spanish speaking come alive call. We're going to have some 
um, translation. Rocio is going to be our translator because she's got three friends or three um, guests that she's invited to her family members and one friend, and she's going to help us um, help them. And we're going to uh, just get to hear from four different people tonight. So that's going to be a lot of fun. Um, let's see, I want to make sure I cover everything. Also, you guys don't forget that we have an ER Shred podcast. It's on iTunes and any other platform that you listen to podcasts. If you are, um, if you miss any of these live calls that we have, you can always go back and listen to them on the ER Shred podcast or on the YouTube channel. Um, also, our next group shred is coming up on March 6th to the 16th. Um, it's this Sunday. No, is it this Sunday? Beginning this Sunday, March 6th through the 16th. And it's going to be our St. Patty's Day Lucky You 2022. And then um, also wanted to recognize our um, all of our hearts of ER Shred, but our newest heart of ER Shred is Case, Casey Whitsitt. Um, and I want to thank Heather, our Shred educator, Heather Sika Leonard, and also our Shred Sage Susan Rothman for their interview last night on the Shred Your Body call. They covered some really meaty content around snacking and our emotions around food. So I highly recommend you guys going back and listening to that on the ER Shred podcast if you didn't get a chance to catch that live. And then tomorrow night, um, I'm going to be hosting the call tomorrow night. It's the once a month mindset call for the Shredders Unite. And it's going to be at six o'clock Mountain Standard Time. We're going to talk, Heather and I together are going to talk all about um, all about time management. We have a lot of good stuff that we want to share. I know that's like a big struggle for many people when it comes to managing our time, especially social media can really be hard to manage and have like boundaries around the amount of time that we spend on social media. And then of course, there's all the distractions that suck us in. <laughs> so we're going to talk about how to better manage our time and have some better boundaries around social media. And um, let's see if I want to make sure. Oh, and then also, I know all of you probably already know that our ER Shred pack is coming. It's going to be available as an actual pack on the Isogenics website. So that's really exciting. It's coming. It's going to be um, set on March 9th. So that's going to be a really exciting thing to have. It's going to make, make everything so much easier for us to share the shred. All right. I think I covered everything. And now I want to um, ask... Rocio, who do you think, do you want to um, call on our first guest? And I'm going to let you take the lead a little bit here and um, for the people that you've invited on the call tonight. Sounds good. Thank you, Crystal. Yes. Very exciting to be here. Um, so I have um, three people. I think one of them might be just joining in, but um, the, the two people that are already in are my sister, Maria Elena Fernandez, and then um, my mom, Carolina. And I think we're gonna start maybe with my sister, if that's okay. okay. Uh, of, and she's, she's happy. <laughs> uh, we're gonna um, start with uh, Maria Elena. I call her Mela. So, um, so she is actually, well, let me ask her, I, I guess, a question, right? Um, do you want me to ask the questions or do you want to ask the questions um, and I'll translate? Well, let's, let's both do it. How about you start? And if I have anything, you know, let's kind of do this together because you know more of their story as well. So I think this will be fun. Sure. Sure. Um, okay. Um, Mela, puedes desconectar tu audio y, um, yeah. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, eh, presentate a la gente, dinos eh, tu nombre, de donde eres, donde, donde vives. Um, so, I'm asking her to like introduce herself, to just let us know where she's coming from and, um, you know, where she lives. Okay. Uh, I am Maria Elena Fernandez. I am from Bolivia. I live in Cochabamba. Um, and 
My sister is Rocio. My mother uh, is Carolina. I speak uh, a few of English and my sister is going to translate me. Bravo, muy bien. <laughs> I no necesito traducir eso, no, pero bien, bienvenida, bienvenida. Um, any questions that you have for Crystal? Do you have any questions? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, no, I, I want to just hear so far, like, what your experience was. I would love to just hear that first, and then I'd love to ask some more questions. Okay. Ella quiere saber la, tu experiencia con el ER Shred. Yeah. Bueno, eh, yo escuché sobre esto con mi hermana y mi mamá y vi que tenía muy buenos resultados ellas dos, ¿verdad? Eh, yo tengo 50 años, acabo de cumplir en noviembre 50 años y bueno, había engordado por el tema de menopausia, comidas y todo eso, había engordado bastante. Ok, y, no, voy a traducir, voy a traducir. Ah. <laughs> I need to translate. <laughs> Well, I mean, she, she, I know that part. So uh, basically she, um, she's 50 years old. Uh, she just turned 50 in November. Uh, she looks great. 50? She's 50. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Right? She wow. looks good, right? Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, so she turned 50 in November and she had gained weight and she, um, see, she saw the changes that my mom and I experienced and was very interested in seeing that for herself. Um, and she, you know, she's, she's starting menopause. And so she wanted to lose some weight. She gained some weight and wanted to get healthier, really. Mm, awesome. Y, y bueno, sí, eh, tuve eh, prediabetes, estaba con prediabetes. Eh, yo le había contado a mi hermana que tenía prediabetes. Y bueno, ella me dijo que esto me iba a ayudar mucho en la salud, más, más que todo en la salud. Y bueno, eh, para mí, era un poco difícil conseguir el producto porque yo estoy al otro lado de ustedes, ¿no? Entonces, eso fue un poco difícil, pero mi hermana logró mandarme y empecé con el, con el nuevo estilo de vida. So, she was also, um, her doctor had told her that she's also pre-diabetic. And, um, and when she told my mom and I that, um, and obviously I had been living the year shred lifestyle for a year at that point, almost a year. Uh, I told her, you, you know, we gotta, we gotta get this to you. We, we obviously she's in Bolivia. So, um, getting her the products was a little tricky, but we know people, we know people <laughs> and we, um, we were able to get her, you know, the products that she needed so she can get an ER shred started. Um, because obviously we, I knew that this would really make a huge difference in her health. Mm. Y bueno, mi primer paquete fue un regalo de mis 50 años de mi hermana. <laughs> Entonces, the, the first, the first, uh, the first ER shred pack that she got was a gift from her sister to her for her 50th birthday. Aww. Hermana bella. Gracias. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces eh, hice, hice el primer, eh, la primera trituración, como ustedes llaman, y logré bajar eh, de acuerdo a lo que ustedes tienen en, los, en las libras, 11 libras. So yeah. she did her first shred and she, um, she was able to lose 11 pounds, uh, 11, 11 pounds, she lost 11 pounds. Wow. Y bueno, o sea, me empecé a sentir mejor, mi autoestima subió, empecé a hacer deporte eh, y bueno, estoy, estoy ahora haciendo deporte y me siento mucho más saludable. No he ido todavía al médico, pero yo me siento muy bien y yo creo que en unos meses iré a hacerme una, un chequeo, pero yo estoy segura de que estoy bien. So she... Um... She, she, she felt great after her shred and um, she obviously lost weight. Um, she started exercising more as a result of that as well. And um, she's consistently exercising now. Um, she hasn't gone back to, to get checked out uh, by her doctor yet, but she feels amazing. So she, she, she only thinks that you know, it's gonna be a positive outcome. Mm -hmm. 
I don't want to, I'm not sure she has more to share, so I want to make sure I... ¿Tienes algo más? ¿Que compartir? O, o te... eh, no, creo que nada. No. Solamente tal vez decir que eh, para mí ha sido... Eh, no tan, no es, no ha sido difícil este cambio de, no me ha dado ansiedad, he estado tranquila, he podido, bueno, acá en Bolivia es mucho más fácil conseguir los productos eh, naturales, si ustedes quieren, que allá, entonces ha sido mucho más fácil mi introducción a esta nueva vida. So she's saying that the doing the Yerushuet has been really easy for her. Um, you know, she, she so she's been in, she, we added her to the Facebook group and, you know, she's been um, added to our WhatsApp Fredder groups and stuff like that. And she, she, for her, the Yerushuet was easy. She, she, she didn't feel anxious about it. Um, and eating the way that we eat in the Yerushuet was an easy transition for her because a lot of the food in Bolivia is much cleaner than it is over here hmm. so she found it lucky, to be like an lucky. easy transition I've, I've heard that and I'm like I want to move there <laughs> <laughs> please do yes yeah come on over <laughs> oh that's so great that that was going to be my my question like how how challenging or if not easy did you find this so that's really awesome to hear that it was not a difficult transition and that it, you know something that she found to be easy to to um, adapt this new way of eating so I like that is there anything else she wants to add to that algo más que quieres agregar uh, no okay what about um what about like non-scale victories um, as far as like gut health, mental clarity, um, energy, I just love to hear the whole spectrum of the, you know, not just the weight loss. What else did she notice? En respecto, no, ahora quieres saber en respecto a otras victorias que has tenido, no solo la pérdida de peso. Yo sé que mencionaste tu uh, autoestima, ¿no? Algunas otras cosas, experimentaste cambios en el estómago, eh, okay. la claridad mental. Eh, yo tenía mucha acidez. Es más, cuando mi hermana me dijo que tome café, yo, ¿te acuerdas que te dije? No, café yo no tomo porque me da gastritis. Ahora yo puedo tomar café, tomo café con la mantequilla y no me hace nada, o sea, no tengo gastritis. Mm -hmm. One of the things that she noticed is um, she used to have a lot of acidity in her stomach. Um, and so even when I told her, well, you can drink coffee, you know, uh, as part of the year shred, you can drink coffee with butter. She was like, no, no, I can't drink coffee because it's just I have gastritis. And so she um, but now she's like, actually, now I'm able to drink coffee and I drink it with the butter um, and it doesn't it doesn't upset my stomach. Mm, that's so... y, también, y también empezado a dormir mejor. I sleep better. Oh, I like that. Yes. Sleep is a big yes. thing, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. And it's such a nice thing when you can find it. Getting a good night's sleep is essential. And once you start having disruptions in your sleep, that can also have a huge effect on the way, the, the choices that you make throughout the day when it comes to, you know, your food choices and stress levels and just overall mental well-being. So I like to hear that you noticed the sleep and the gut health improving. Yes. And anything else that you noticed? What well, one of the things I missed, I may have not um, translated, was that um, as she was doing the year threat, she she as a result of that, she, like her um, self esteem, like mm. like grew. She she mm. became more confident, and she just um, that's one of the things that she she mentioned. Like the first things actually she mentioned to me when she um, mm -hmm. after sh her first shred, she's like, I feel I feel better in my own skin. Yes. Um, so do you, yeah. I I want you to elaborate a little bit on that. Do you think it's because of the the eleven pounds lost, or is there something else to that? Um, ella quiere saber, o sea, que, que expliques un poco más. ¿Por qué crees que, has, eh, que, que tienes mejor autoestima? ¿Porque has perdido pez, las 11 libras, o eso algo más? Oh, sí, porque eh, eh, por, por, esos, por esas 11 libras eh, he bajado una talla, 
Entonces, o sea, obviamente me veía mejor, me veía más bonita. Entonces, es por, por el peso que me, me empezó a sentir mejor. So yeah, she says, um, yeah, I think it's definitely the weight, the weight loss has helped me to um, go down the size in my clothes. And, um, and just seeing the change has helped me just grow in my self-esteem, just feel better, mm -hmm. better about myself. I love that because I think it's definitely for me, it's the, you know, when feeling the empowerment around having that self-control, that is what I noticed for myself, building my own confidence, because I realized I'm actually quite powerful. I, I do have discipline, you know, <laughs> and it's like all these, my whole life, I just thought I was not a very disciplined person, but I didn't realize there's much more that goes into, um, you know, it's not just discipline. It's actually finding the right things that can be satiating enough for you to be able to have that long-term willpower, which in my opinion is not really willpower it just becomes a natural way of eating because you're giving your body what it needs it doesn't require this everyday discipline and willpower like I don't think that is sustainable so for me the confidence came from realizing that I could have control over my my diet so I love that thank you so much for sharing that it's so great to hear from you and is there anything else Maria that you would like to share Oh no, uh, only that uh, I'm glad to, to be with you. Hola. Hola, hola. Thank hola. you. Huh? <laughs> Thank you so much. We're so happy to have you share because I know it's not always an easy thing to do. So especially with the language and everything. So we appreciate you being willing to share your story. It's just a beautiful thing. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Gracias, sis. All right, Rocio, do you want to um, introduce your mom? Yeah, yeah. So obviously, mom and I have have a long history. <laughs> um, I owe her my life. So, um, mommy, uh, ¿por qué no, no te sacas del, del mute? And my mom uh, lives in Maryland. So she um, she's local yeah to the u.s uh -oh. awesome. Sacate el mute. technology is a little challenging oh, there you yeah. go <laughs> so carolina is that how did i say that correctly carolina. Carol, carolina okay hi carolina it's good to meet you nice to meet you clarice i'm very happy crystal. to see you crystal. yes crystal Oh, Crystal, Crystal. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it goes both ways, right? Like the pronunciation. Yes, it's hard. I know. I'm sorry. I probably yeah. don't say your name correctly either. So. <laughs> Sorry, Crystal. No problem. My name is Carolina Borda. Uh, I am from Bolivia. I am 75 years old. Uh, what I say? Um, my life, you know, I'm getting old since 2013. I, I had many bad experiences in my body, healthy, uh, special for my health. I was with many problems like osteoporosis, gastritis, heartburn, and Arthritis. Where are you, Clary? No, no, estamos aquí, tranquila. Seguí hablando. Um, it was very, very difficult, my life. My health it was so, so sad for me. I was suffering many problems. Uh, but now, 2000. 21 May, I was starting to take my shakes because I saw my daughter. She was heavy, but when she took the shakes, everything, <laughs> I saw how she lost the pounds. She feel much better. That's good. It was good testimony for me for starting my 
my shakes and ear shred. Um, my hair burn disappeared to now. My osteoporosis, my bones, no need any more G class infusion because that's I was taking every year. For more than four years, I was taking G class infusion every year. But this year, after one bone density, my doctor tell me, don't take this year the G class infusion. Maybe next year, because we need to see your bones, now is okay. How about my arthritis? My arthritis. I don't feel my, my joints. It was so hard. My, my fingers, I cannot move. But now I can move. I can do everything. No more pain. This product shakes and is so marvelous. Very magnificent. I feel much better. I feel young, maybe 10 years young. <laughs> wow. Maybe 20. Yes. Oh, maybe amazing. 20. <laughs> oh, thank you. You look very healthy and young and vibrant. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel much better. I sleep very good, no more heartburn in my stomach. Wow. Because before I cannot sleep very good, my heartburn, it was burning in my tongue. It was so terrible, oh. but now I sleep very good. No more, one almost one year. Mm -hmm. I my life is totally changed. So you've been doing it for a year? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, I was studying May six, seventeen. Oh, so almost wow. a year. Yeah. Oh yeah. my gosh! Yes, that's amazing. So what is it like? What's your lifestyle like now? Like, what's your everyday eating like? Oh, my delicious steaks. Yeah. <laughs> steaks, bacon, egg, avocados. Yes, sometimes I change, I combine some hot dog or something. If I don't eat very good something, oh, my stomach is very upset. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, so you... Um, how, do you find this to be an easy lifestyle change or is there still parts that feel challenging? Yeah, my life totally changing. I feel much better, but that's coming because I have perseverance in care my, my food. My discipline in my food is very good. If not, will be bad. Yeah. So do you also work out like, like Maria does? Do you, um, are you able to do any fitness? Oh, I, I make ex exercises every morning. Then now I got a backache for some problem. I make some bad move in my muscles. For that reason, I make exercises every day. Good for you. Yeah. Wow. I like the ear dread because I lo I I did four times. Last year two times, this year two times. Oh, okay. But it's very difficult to to lose the pound. Why the women lose just little, but men they lose more. What <laughs> it's is not fair. I don't know. <laughs> No es justo. No es justo. No, no es justo. <laughs> it's like it's not no, fair. No, hay derecho. Yeah. Mi, mi esposo en dos uh, y al red ha perdido más de 20 libras y yo solo 14.6. So she says that it's not fair that men lose more weight than women. Uh, my husband, for example, lost in two, sh in two shreds, he lost 20 pounds and I lost 14.6 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, you lost 14.6 pounds. Like that's yeah. a lot. Yeah. <laughs> but women do lose inches. Las mujeres pierden los, centi los centímetros y las pulgadas por si acaso. Ah. La grasa. Fat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That, that's much better for me. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, I love to hear that the the pain has um, you've been able to notice different with your pain and your sleep. It's just oh yeah, a big difference when you can get those things under control, right? And then the acid, yeah. like yeah, that's great to hear. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for sharing. No, thank you for giving me that opportunity to to share my experience and give good testimony for the ER threat. Yes, it's awesome. We love to it hear is. from you. It We're is grateful. marvelous. It is marvelous. I love it. Mm, thank you so much. Thank you too. <laughs> All right, who is next? All right, I'm trying to see if Claudia is she had joined. Oh, there she is. Hey, Claudia. <laughs> Um, uh, yep, yeah, you go ahead and unmute and maybe tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, how did you hear about the ER shred? Tell us your name, where you're from, how did you hear about the ER shred? Okay, uh, hello, my name is Claudia, I'm from Bolivia too. Uh, I hear the about the ER, ER shred for um. Uh, Jimena is a classmate from Rocio. She lives here in Virginia too. And then she she lose uh, she showed me you know, how how many pounds she lost and I saw how she was looking and I said, yeah, I want to do the same. <laughs> mm -hmm. And that's why I start. No? And also Jimena have a lot of uh, another problems also with pre-diabetic pre and her sister too, Cynthia. So that's how I, I start to do this. No? And yeah, the, it's kind of repeat uh, the same, no? but it's like uh, everybody I think experience, experience the same. No, you feel uh, so much better after you do the shreds. No, you can sleep better your stomach issues and everything, uh, everything is gone now. I have a, um, a gut bladder surgery. And after that, I was feeling still a little, a little sick. But uh, when I start this, uh, everything goes away. So I'm feeling so much better. And uh, until now I lose like uh, 15, yeah, 15 pounds. Wow. How long ago did you say you started? You just did? I just shred, started or? in in January. Oh, in January. Okay. Uh -huh. So how yep. many shreds have you done so far? Two. Two. Okay. Uh -huh. And yeah, what the, is... first, the first one, I, I lost uh, 10 pounds. And uh, the second one, I, I lost only five. Only but, five. <laughs> we have yeah, such but, uh, but, uh, <laughs> but uh, the, the amazing thing is how you feel uh, inside, no? Because yeah. you feel with a lot of energy. I was thinking, uh, I don't, I don't gonna be able to do it. But uh, when you start, it's, it's so easy, no? Because uh, from my country, we love to eat meat, so it's easier mm -hmm. for us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> easy for you, yeah. <laughs> did you uh, yeah. what? What did you find challenging? Did, were there any challenging parts, like maybe the first few days, or? No, I uh, I like the, I like the the shakes, you no, know? but uh, I was thinking maybe the uh, the fasting is gonna be hard, but because you have everything for one hour that you have to eat this, eat, eat that, and then that distract my mind, so <laughs> I can I was able to to do it. No? That's so true. I love that. That uh, that schedule yeah. is very helpful because yeah, the schedule. You, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like, that okay, I can me. make it for one more hour. One more hour, you know. <laughs> yeah, 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 mm. yeah, yeah. Um, uh, I also buy the shakes for my daughter, but uh, I want her to gain gain weight. No. Oh, okay. So she's uh, drinking the shakes. No, uh, in the middle of their food. No, no, not for replace the food. Oh, uh -huh. and uh, she's she have a little of uh, lactose intolerance, mm. but uh, mm. now that she she can she drink the shakes, I make the shakes uh, with milk and I add some banana, no, and the strawberry shake, and oh, it's so good. My both kids they love it. 
and uh, she can drink she can drink now the mint and, and nothing happened to it doesn't upset her stomach oh my goodness that is such a good uh good testimonial because i know a lot of people are you know have our lactose intolerance so that's really cool to hear that that can help you with uh, being able to tolerate the milk or dairy products so that is yeah. really really cool yeah so now we are all in the <laughs> shades all and in, everything yeah. <laughs> oh wow that's so awesome what about um anything else that you noticed with your you said that you it helped your gut health. Yes, yes. Uh, I, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I, I went to the ER again. I was thinking maybe my, my liver was, because I don't have the gut brother, no? but I was thinking maybe my liver now is bad or something. But now, no, everything is, everything is okay. I don't feel any pain now. It's so much good. And my skin is so much better too. Mm. Yeah. So when did you, was there a specific day throughout the, your first ER shred that you noticed a big change or was it just a gradual process? Uh, uh, I, I feel uh, after the, the first uh, fasting, uh, I started to notice my, my skin wasn't so, so dry. Mm. Uh, it was it was it was getting better no and uh, and now i i don't look also so tired and everything no it's it's good when you go out and everybody notice the changes no oh and they people always, are noticing uh, yeah 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 oh. i love to go to the sauna and the lady who who works there she's oh what happened <laughs> <That's> <laughs> because so she's so many <laughs> So that, that makes you feel feel so much better. Yes, absolutely. I like that it does make it easy. It's it's a very easy thing to share with people. You never feel like you're, it just feels so natural. And it's nice when people are actually noticing your results. And so it makes it very easy to share this with other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Because uh, everybody also asking, what are you doing? No? So it's, yeah. Like, well, let me just tell you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Oh, hey, you're this welcome. is really great to hear from all of you guys. This is so fun. And thank you, Rocio, for translating. That was so helpful. And thank you guys for being brave and being on live <laughs> with us. It's so great to hear from you guys. Thank you for inviting us. <laughs> yes. Okay. Now we're going to ask charity charity would you like to come on and tell us a little Hi. bit of tell <laughs> us a little bit about yourself where well introduce yourself again you introduced it before we um actually officially started so go ahead and introduce yourself a little bit um i'm charity davis um up here in maine in the corner in the cold um i heard about the er shred through my friend jessica who's hanging out with us tonight. Jessica uh, Tessier? Yes. Oh, yep. awesome. Yep, we grew up together, actually went to school together, like pretty much our whole lives. So yeah. um, she had started posting things, um, you know, about her success with the program. And I reached out to her and I'm like, what, what are you doing? Like, <laughs> girl, hook me up. Yeah. <laughs> so that's how I got, got into this. Um, yeah, like I don't, I, I haven't had any health problems or anything like that. Um, I recently got engaged. Uh, my Yay. Congratulations. Thank you. And we had just been talking about, you know, losing weight together. And he's, he's got the dad bod and, and he, I had started showing him, um, you know, the different things uh, with the program and we had done a chat with Jessica and got all kinds of information and he's like I can do this I can do this so he unfortunately he's not there yet he had to work some, through some other things before he can get on the plan but um, mm -hmm. it's he's he's totally on board and that's something that never happened so that's mm -hmm. we started looking into it and we took the plunge and and that's how we got started yeah great that's awesome 
Jessica. So great that you're sharing the shred and um, passing it on. It's such a great thing. So tell us about your experience with the first, well, you've only done one shred now, right? So right. tell us about, yeah. walk us through how that went, even like how you felt the first few days and share it yeah. all. Yeah. Okay. So before I started, um, like I, I worked two jobs and I have for seven years. So I, when I say I work seven days a week, I work seven days a week. So I'm always on the go, go, go. I, when I, if I have a day off or time off, I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> so um, I, in the last year or so, I've had a lot of, a lot of things, a lot of stress in my life and it's completely bogged me down. And for lack of a better term, I'm, I'm not feeling like myself anymore. Um, so once I started getting on the program, um, it was probably about seven days into it. I started to feel the energy come back. Um, my every day was like, I was getting through the day, but you know, at late afternoon, when I get to the weekends and I'm working that second job, by the time I hit noontime, I am post. So I can't sit down because then I'm done for the rest of the day. Yeah. Like, but I just, I go all, all day. <laughs> and mm -hmm. um, so probably about seven days into it, I, I felt that burst of energy at my second job. And I, I usually go in at five o'clock in the morning. Um, and like, I, I work in a grocery store and I like felt like I was on fire, like on screech in a good way. And like, I'm always running around anyway. So I'm just like, this is awesome. Yeah. And so every, every day I'm feeling a little bit more. Um, I'm not to the point yet where it's lasting all day. Like I'm not tired right now, but I, my body's not still like amping to go. I mean, you know, it is getting close to bedtime, but um, it, it's slowly, it's slowly coming back. And um, I noticed some of my stress is starting to leave with with the program you know of course I have all the outside stressors still here yeah um but it's it's helping I think and I'm I'm starting to feel like me again and that like go 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 that I don't know how to be anything else so I love it oh. yes you know when you're not feeling well the stress just almost feels um like you don't have the energy to to manage it the way you know you you are capable of right. and so that's when what I love about how you know doing your body good can actually you know we always talk about how it spills over into other areas of your life because having you know the it just there's it just becomes this um snowball effect yeah right yeah absolutely you're, you know it helps with your sleep you're getting better sleep it helps with your energy. You're able to do more. You have the energy to, you know, tackle the projects that are causing you stress or, you know, manage the different things that are going on, going on in your life that when you don't feel well, you don't have the energy to do what you know you're capable of doing. And so it just feels right. like it just piles on, piles on. And you're like, there's no way out. <laughs> yeah. And it it's helping with the the ambition, like I used to go a year ago too, I would go to the gym every day. And I, I love that. I have not got back into that, but I'm starting to get that mindset back that like, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to start lifting my weights again and get Yay. Jacked, you know? <laughs> like, just visualize it. You're like, I see myself back in the gym in the very near future. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, absolutely. Like that is, that is one of my goals to get back on track, to get started uh, back on my plan as far as that goes. And Mm -hmm. it's just the, the well the clarity the mental clarity it's it's coming like and you can feel it um to go along with the sleeping like I I, I slept good anyways you know working so much like yeah you know but it's the waking up and you feel rested oh, you know yeah. I don't need that coffee to keep me going or get me going I'm having it because I enjoy it and it's mm -hmm. like five minutes into it. It's like, okay, ready to go. Like, let's get this day going. So yeah. that's, that's what I love. I'm starting to feel like me again. Oh, I love that. You guys, you guys need to go check out, go check out charities pictures. 
she just posted recently her results and her before and after pictures, and it's incredible. I love when we get to see the actual comparison of, of the results. So I'm so happy that you took those pictures and you're willing to post them because it's always, always so inspiring. Yeah. But um, so what did you, was there anything in particular that you found to be challenging or were you, were you surprised that it was, it, is easy. I mean, how would you describe like transitioning your diet from what it was to going on to the 11 day? Yeah. Um, it, it is very easy. Like this, this is like totally easy. Um, I, I wouldn't say I was eating bad before this. Like I, I miss my vegetables. Like I do love vegetables. So that yeah. like the first thing, you know, broccoli is what I've started to add back in and, and avocado because I love that. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, it is perfect. Like it's almost mindless. You don't ever have to think about what can I eat? You know, it's like, I'm having meat and some butter, you know, yeah. and it's just, it's, it's the easiest thing. Um, so it's been wonderful in that aspect. Um, the, in doing the cleanse days, the first day I, I, I I've done cleanse days before years ago. And so I'm like, wow, I'm like, I don't remember what this was like to just have like liquid all day. <laughs> and mm -hmm. so it, I, it was kind of a mind over matter. Once I got going, I, you know, had a few times where I felt really hungry, my belly's ground and I'm like, oh, drink the water, drink the water, get it down, get it down. And the and, bone broth. Uh, yeah. 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 And, and it worked, you know, eventually. And like the bone broth was a big help. Um, it was quite... Uh, it took some getting used to. Like, I'm not a huge fan of it, but oh. it's, it's tolerable. <laughs> yeah. But, um, yeah, once I got past that first day, it was dealing with my mind, the, the fact that I really want food right now. I, you know, I didn't cave, but then that second day was like a breeze after that. So it was like, yeah, I got this. Like, I wouldn't want to do it any more than that, <laughs> but yeah. it it was, it was easy. It's a mind over matter. And as long as you keep your head in the game, it mm -hmm. is, it's super easy. Yeah. So do you have uh, goals as far as like what you're planning to do moving forward? With yeah, the, I, like how you're going to, uh, how are you going to do another shred or how many more pounds you want to lose and all that? Oh, absolutely. I, my total my total that I would like to lose um, would be like 50 pounds, um, which would bring me to probably uh, 150, 160. I don't know what I would look like at that. So, you know, that's just a number in the air and we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Um, it, it, it's kind of crazy because like I said, I, where I used to lift weights, I'm, I'm not saying I was jacked, but I was cut a little bit. Uh -huh. And it's been, you know, a year since I've really done any of that, but I, I'm, I can see some of the definition already starting, you know, and I'm not even doing anything yeah, so. even without working out. Huh? Right. And, you know, Gary had said something to me too. He's like, they're there, babe, you know, it's not, you know, yeah. so I, I'm going to keep going forward with the program. I'm definitely going to do another shred. Um, I, I'm not a compulsive wear, you know, on the scale, but I like to keep checking in. Uh -huh. Um, and I know that like slowly adding these things back in, I know I've put a couple pounds back on, but I'm not worried about it. Mm -hmm. And so I, I kind of want to like do, a, give it a little more time to add more things in to see how that works. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, when the timing feels like it's right, I'm going to hit another shred and hopefully get some workouts going, you know, and get it all going together and, mm -hmm. um, and, you know, and just see what it produces for results. I mean, putting my pictures up for me, I, I could see it, you know, I could see it in my, my face specifically. Um, but like the group just being so supported and everyone was like, Oh my God, this is so awesome. So amazing. I'm like, I'm like, Oh my God. I'm like, why do these people think I'm so great? You know? So it really, it, it really boosted the, the self-esteem and, and, you know, keeping your head in the game, like tremendously. It just it makes you feel good. So I, I'm hooked. <laughs> That's so great. You guys, did you hear what Charity said about the group? Let's all take a moment to pat ourselves on the back. For those of you who do 
take the time to participate and cheer people on because it is so meaningful. And I'm glad that you touched on that charity because the, the community that we have is such a special community. And I love how people are so loving and supportive and just get so excited for everybody. And so I just want to also thank everybody in the group for for what for being cheerleaders and knowing how meaningful it is to get that um, boost, you know, that support, and knowing that it's knowing that people do really care and are just are very much excited for you. It's just a nice feeling to know that we have that special aspect to our group that we really do feel connected with each other. And I love that. I love that you pointed that out. So thank you for that. Is there anything else that you'd like to share as far as, um, you know, non-scale victories that you noticed? Um, I, the energy again, yeah. um, in the ease of this, I, I would, a victory for me is that Gary is excited to do this. Um, in being supportive of me and seeing, I, I don't think he really noticed my changes, but until I showed him the pictures and he's like, wow, babe, you know, that's <laughs> awesome. And it's, it's been an incentive for him. So once he gets straightened out, he is definitely going to be jumping on the program with me. So then doing it together is going to make it so much easier anyway. And I just, that for him is going to be huge. And for him to see any kind of change, it, it's going to be phenomenal and, you know, being the man and he's going to lose it way quicker. It's yeah. just, I, I'm excited to see that spark in his eye. You know, it's going to bring life back to him and I'm, I'm excited to see that. So that's a, mm. that's a huge victory for me too. That is a victory too, because, you know, we care about the people in our lives and we care about their health and their mental well being, And so it, and it has to be their choice. You know, we can't, I think Rocio, can't you relate a little bit? I remember talking with uh, you and Steven and I think you, it took you a while, right? To, to, to kind of get on board. And so now look at you, you've got all these people, like <laughs> you're sharing the shred with everybody and it's just such a great thing. So I know how that feels to, to have those results for yourself. And you just, you hope that other people will join you on this endeavor because you know what it's done for you but you also know that it's gonna have to be their choice they're not you can never force anyone to do it for you they have to want to do it themselves so knowing right. that it, for him to be able to see you um be able to do this and see that you get to eat the steak and butter and all that you know <laughs> that's probably yeah. nice and like, hey, i think i can do this <laughs> yeah that's exactly what he said he's like i can do this he's yeah like, and steak yes <laughs> Oh, that's so awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Charity, for being willing to share. And thank I you. Just, again, I appreciate everyone who is willing to share because I know it's not easy for everybody to, to do it. And so I'm, I'm grateful for anyone who's willing to, to be brave and go live and, you know, speak in front of people and be on camera. It's really such a gift for all of us to get to hear like the inside scoop and the entire experience. So we appreciate you. Yes. Now, Thank before you. we finish up, I wanted to see, we have about five more minutes. I wanted to see if there's anybody else on the call who would like to add anything or share an update. We'd love to give you a moment to share some thoughts. Usually we have Jesse uh, finish out our call, but he's not, he's not here tonight. Um, let's see if I, I want to make sure if there's anyone I'm, I'm going to look, if there's anyone who would like to share, you can, I'm looking at the camera, looking at you guys, you can raise your hand because I don't know if you can unmute yourself. I may have pushed the wrong button. Okay. Well, this was an awesome call, you guys. I really, really enjoyed it. And I always appreciate those of you who come on live with us. I think that's a lot of fun to have the energy together and to see your beautiful faces on here. I get to look at all your faces. So thank you once again for those of you who shared and thank you 
all for joining us tonight and join us again tomorrow night. Heather and I are going to be talking about time management. All right, you guys have a good night. It's fabulous. Good Thank night. you so much. Good to see you. Thank you. Bye. Adios. Ciao. Have a good night. Wow. Adios. Awesome Ciao. Gracias. Everybody. Great testimonies. Thank you, Ciao. everyone.